Moving on to Sri Lanka, the Ranil Vikramasinghe government in Sri Lanka has said that the country wants to reboot the economic ties with China. The country has also sought adjustments in the rates of infrastructure loans from China, claiming that it is facing a financial crisis. Sri Lankan Finance Minister Ravi Karunanyake said the country's upcoming budget will be focused on FDI. He said that the new policies will help in foreign investors, including those from China, to invest in the country. This comes at a time when Colombo is trying to win back the confidence of Beijing post the controversy surrounding the cancellation of the China-backed port project. Sri Lanka has also sought the review of terms of a 5 billion infrastructure loan from China as a bulk of the government expenditure goes into servicing them. I urge China to put the acrimony of the past behind us and come and help us by adjusting the terms of the loans to make them more viable. We are serious about putting our relationship on the right path, Karunanyake said. Relations between the two countries soured after the ouster of Raja Paksa in January. China has funded and built nearly 70% of the infrastructure projects in the country in the last six years. But the infrastructure facilities, including the harbour and the international airport in Hambantota, are not generating sufficient revenues to pay back the money borrowed from China, causing debt crisis for the country.